What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and pick up your premium membership. It is 50 cents a day. And don't forget to stop by Studio1Tutorials and pick up a new copy of These Drum Slap Volume 2. Expertly crafted drums for your trap and hip-hop needs. Now, today we're going to be looking at studio one 4.5 a legendary a legendary a legendary update to studio one um i was i was pleasantly surprised by the 0.5 update as i think a lot of us were and um they really did a lot what i'm going to be going into today is what i think is the most uh just game breaking and not fair studio one presonus you guys are not nice to the other dogs you're making it too hard for them to keep up uh this is the their um this is their this is gonna be their fill with notes feature. Now um what we have here is a melody that I did absolutely nothing to create uh to make this killer trap melody um and the way that i achieved it was through a new function called uh fill with notes it's actually a macro so uh, in order to in order to get this going what you do is you just go ahead and create an audio i'm sorry a midi region right and it works best when you select a scale so i'm in i'm in b minor um if you click this um button right here you get the macro editor. Now, you, when, when you come here for the first time, you're going to see this um, section right here. It's going to be global. You want to go over here, click on the arrow, go to music creation. And I noticed when I was going through this, they had these fill sections, right? Fill, 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 fill. So the first thing that I did was I went into my uh, keyboard shortcuts and I looked for fill. OK, and then I noticed fill with notes and I was like, give me that. Give me that menu. So I went ahead. I mapped it to key command F. And what happens when I press F now is the fill with notes um, screen pops up. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to really dial in the parameters of the, you know, of the the filling of the notes <laughs> that uh, that uh, Studio One is going to give you. And this is where um, the Studio One uh, melody generation features just completely topples everything that's out there um, as far as any third party VST or um you know max max for live device or anything like that is because it allows you to set the parameters in such a way that what you're giving back is musical and isn't simply random now you're gonna have to do some tone work with these um and that's fine what's cool is it gives you is it gives you the timings and i'll show you why well you know how how this how something that seems like it's a you know something that seems like it's a crutch or something like that can actually be used to add complexity to your to your melodies and everything so typically if you make a trap melody um you'll be using a resolution like one four or one eight and you go ahead and you might come out with something like this and then maybe you know and and this is cool for finding these type of melodies like maybe you'll find um you know maybe you'll find you like this one You know, you might you might duplicate that out. OK, um, easy stuff there. Or, you know, you, you might do a quarter note melody and run one of those. Um, but for me, what was what was really awesome about this was the fact that you can group together timings so you can have, uh, you know, you can have all the different timings in one melody. which is, uh, I don't know how useful <laughs> all of the, uh, using all of them would be, but when, uh, specifically for trap, when you're, when you, when you can have half notes, quarter notes and eighth notes, um, you get some really, you get some really interesting stuff here. I don't like that one. So, and if you don't like it, having the key command is nice because you can just keep cycling. All right. So say something like this, right? And go ahead and move it up an octave. And 
one if we were to loop that. This mirror function is really nice because you can whichever whichever sets of notes you uh, select, um, you know, giving given the length that they're following, it'll you know it'll reverse them. And right there, that's the you know that's a timing you know that's a timing that I would I probably wouldn't have uh, you know drawn in on my own when you you know if you're used to playing that's different the timing is easy you're watching this and you're like you guys are you guys are ridiculous why would you do this but if you draw you know that that timing it, timing will be the thing that that we might necessarily struggle with and Presonus has thrown us an amazing alley oop um, let's go ahead and try another one. So like, see this one again, I'll do these mirror them, see what this sounds like. And it's just, <laughs> it's it, it's really easy between but between using the mirror function, uh, having the scale locked in, and just being able to have your key command, uh, um, have your key command locked in. It is so simple to get up and running with a decent melody. And you know nowadays, you know if you if if you have a decent melody, good sound selection, you just you just go ahead and you put the right drums on it, and you are ready to go. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions Studio One Tutorials Keep it simple. Do not be basic and we will see you on the next one fam.